DJ, he's working up. As they're called the wheels of steel. What's going on, big dog? How you doing this morning? All right, how y'all doing out there? We're doing all right. Now, what you're doing right now, this is called DJing, right? Yeah. I prefer turntables, though, because DJing is kind of like out of the picture now, because now this is an instrument now. Uh -huh. All the DJs rather be turntablers. But you do still have your DJs out there as the ones that, you know, just play CDs. But we, the turn play, the turntable is strictly messed with vinyl, you know. Vinyl. I mean, and this is something a lot of people don't see anymore. This is actually a record. There are probably yeah. a lot of young kids that have never seen a record <laughs> in their lives. Yeah, they probably think it's a big CD. <laughs> <laughs> now, when did DJing or, or turntabling, as they call it now, when did this start? Back in the 70s, back when they had, like, the Roxy stuff like that up in New York, when DJs used to, like, play disco, mix the two songs together, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of moved now. It's kind oh, of become yeah. more of an art form. Well... Yeah, it moved. Grandmaster Flash moved it to another level when he started, you know, like scratching on records. What's scratching? When you're just moving the record, you know, back and forth and shaking it up a little bit, you know. Make, making it bounce and making a noise. Oh, yeah, making the, actually making the sample say another thing, you know. Okay. Like, now, you can also kind of move to it and DJs also kind of dance while oh, they're doing yeah. it. You can also, you know, blend records together like, you know, I could be playing that beat right there. So, so like, I play like three, three WL, real popular group right now. So, okay, this is a song that you hear a lot on the radio nowadays. Oh yeah, it's real hot right now, <laughs> and that's what you call beat mixing in like in a club. Man, how long have you been DJing? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. <laughs> Do you think fifteen years of experience? You think you can teach me? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to put you on in a minute, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, folks. We're going to see if I can't blend some beats and make this record bounce. Hopefully, I won't scratch it, folks. Danny, <laughs> 15. I think we're going to have some fun this morning. Oh, yeah, I think looks so, that too. Way. She's kind of fired up about it. I remember those records. I mean, you don't see those very often now. You're right. You don't see them. And, Dan, I bet you probably had the big bell-bottoms disco era. Oh, you got I, I that right. I picture you. I should bring in the, uh, the shoes, the, the platform, platform shoes. shoes. Which are back in style now. Yeah, they are. Hey, let's see what uh, he's got cooking. Hey, Terrence. Well, good morning. I'm actually getting a history lesson this morning. Those are records. Do you remember those? I'm learning how to DJ this morning. We're going to make some funky sounds coming up. Shaking his groove thing this morning. That's right. He is learning to be a disc jockey, old school style, and he joins us live on the road with DJ X-Ray from downtown Evansville. This guy's good. He really is very, very good. You see him back here working it out on the wheels of steel. You know, back in the day they called him DJs, but now they're called turntablists, and he says it's mostly because this is more like an instrument. Good morning, DJ X-Ray. How you doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's having fun over here. We're getting into it, you know. Usually when I get into it, I can't stop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say this is actually a lot like an instrument over here. Yeah, it is, because you can do, like, different things, like sound effects, little transform. I'm going to do it without the music. And, you know, just keep it going, you know. Keep little different sound. So you can make sound effects with this. Let's, oh, yeah. Let me hear that one more time. Okay, we're going to make a sound effect. This is called transforming, and, and this is part of DJing. It's part of what's called transforming. Okay, now you say that you can actually make a full song out of that one sound effect. Oh, yeah, you can, like, have a beat playing. Let's see, if he, let's see how good he really is. <laughs> I, I can take like a little police sound and just mess it all up, like... You know, just play with it. And okay. <laughs> what else can you do? Well, basically you make beats with records too. You can have, have like two of the same records playing. You can break it down like a little drummer. <laughs> okay. I call it a turntable drummer though, you know what I'm saying? A turntable drummer. This truly is an, instru an instrument. It, it trips me out. And what you do, you just... Have doubles. It's best to have doubles to everything. I got doubles to everything. I go out and... About how many How many records do you have? Probably about a close to a thousand. <laughs> a thousand records. A thousand or more. <laughs> okay. As he cuts it up there, I'm actually going to send it back to you guys, Dan and Christy, and I really think I'm going to try my hand at it. I'm very impressed at, at his skills, and I think I can do it. I may actually take up a career in, in turntabling and, and hand the mic to someone else. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how you do, Terrence. We look forward to that. All right. You've got to have quick hands, don't you? That guy is fast, isn't he? Oh, really? A thousand records? Quite a collection. I'd say.
Derby. To oh, good morning, Terrence. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Good morning. I'm down here with X-Rays. You see he's working out there on the wheels of steel. He's a local turntablist. We're also going to talk to him about his record company, Sinlo Records. So stick around. Here in the basement with X-Ray of Sinlo Records. And as you see right now, he's really busting moves. He's doing his DJ thing, his uh, turntabling thing, mixing it up right there. Actually, this is all part of a record company. This is the CEO of Sinlo Records. Good morning. How you doing, man? All right. How you doing today? Doing all right. Yeah. Now, you guys actually are doing a lot of things. Talk about some of the projects that Sinlo Records has going on right now. Well, right now, we got an album coming out May 20th. It'll be in stores, Uptown Music, you know, Coconut, Urban Link, Hip Hop Fashion, and it's called Coming Through. So that's basically what we're concentrating on. And then we also have May 18th, we have a show at the Aftermath in Orangeboro, Kentucky with Two Short. Okay. So that's basically some of the things we're doing right now. And X-Ray right here is your actual DJ. He actually yeah. DJs for you, yeah. for the groups and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's the hottest DJ around, man. I love him. You know, we grew up, so, you know. And he's you doing his thing. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Yeah. And you guys, you actually came up with a little song for yeah. Byron and Christy and for the Sunrise Crew, right? Yeah, man, I, I bust a little freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me kick a little song. All uh, right, this is Thin Low right, Records right here, strictly for you guys. All right, check it out. All right, here we go. Um, all right, one. We kick it like this. All right, check it out. I wake up the sunrise on channel 14. You got Darren Byron. Terrence and Christy giving you the latest news. Don't hit snooze with these guys like Parker. You can't lose. So fix you a pot of coffee and don't move. You know uh, how we do it? Hello. <laughs> that, is, that is specially out for you all, DJ X-Ray. Go ahead and, and let, let folks see what you do. You seem like you're having fun with this, DJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see the smile on the face. How long have you been DJing? 15 years. <laughs> as, as it is the music. You've been oh, DJing yeah. for 15 years 15 and it's still a lot of fun for you? Oh, yeah. I love it, man. I love it, love it, love it. I ain't gonna never stop either, you know. I'm gonna continue this saga until my arm falls off. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it's not this morning. And folks, I really think I'm gonna try my hand. I've been, I've been watching and I tried it and it really didn't sound good. So I'm gonna practice a little bit. He's the pro. And that's a great new theme song we've got. Yeah, I, I think we should use that. What do you oh, guys definitely. think? We'll put it in our open, okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll bring it back. <laughs> well, I'm learning how to DJ and I think I've got it down. See over here, uh-oh, uh-oh, he's acting up on me. He's, he's showing me right now with his mouth how to DJ. I'm going to try my hand at it. I don't think I can get the mouth yet. He is. He's spinning records, and he's using them to make sound, and it's an art. What do they call it? Turntabling now? Turntabling, that's right. It is an art form. It truly is, and Dan, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a career out of it. I tried it, and I'm not really that good. This is uh, Turntablist X-Ray. He says he's going to put on a quick show for me, so I'm going to be quiet and let him do his thing. Now watch him use his mouth. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. I'm gonna hand off the microphone here. And uh, oh, uh, see, uh, see the arm. They're holding it close. No. Now, how do I do this? All right, let's see. <laughs> we got the new world champion right here. <laughs> yeah. ne next week you need to rap. <laughs> next, next, I, I, I think I'll stick to this microphone right here <laughs> and this camera right here in front of me. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, yeah. Good idea. You, you guys weren't impressed with, with, with my turntabling? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get your mouth on that record like, like he did there. Well, how, how about... 
There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll kiss the microphone. That's <laughs> Getting kisses out to our audience. All right, Terrence. All right, guys. Fun. But that does take a lot of talent. Yeah, it really you does. Almost every body part, I think, to use uh, in your turntabling now is what they call it. Turntabling. Yeah, used to be DJing now you know, is turntabling. Whatever happened to just putting the record on and. Whatever happened to records? Whatever happened to records? <laughs> yeah. Now it's all CDs. I've got three boxes of them at home. I wonder if it's worth anything. You probably should check that out. I should check that out. No, they're not. I just heard they're not worth a dime. We're probably going to check nickel. out the forecast. Let's check the forecast. <laughs>